During World War II, the United States guarded one piece of equipment more closely than almost anything else, the Norden bombsite. It was hailed as a miracle device, a machine so precise it could drop a bomb into a pickle barrel from 20,000 feet. The Norden was a gyroscopic analog computer that calculated bomb trajectories using airspeed, altitude, wind drift, and ground speed. Once locked onto a target, it actually took control of the bomber's autopilot, steering the aircraft to the exact release point. For its time, it was astonishingly advanced. Because of that, it was treated like a national secret. Crews were ordered to destroy the bomb site if forced to land in enemy territory. Bombardiers swore oaths. Training was intense. Billions of dollars were invested in the promise of precision bombing. In theory, it worked. In combat, reality intervened. Cloud cover, black, enemy fighters, smoke, mechanical failures, and human stress all degraded accuracy. At high altitude, even small errors meant bombs landed hundreds, sometimes thousands of feet from their intended targets. Post-war analysis showed that only a fraction of bombs actually fell within close range of their aim points. Despite this, the Norden shaped Allied bombing doctrine. American strategy emphasized daylight precision bombing of factories, rail yards, and infrastructure, in contrast to Britain's nighttime area bombing. The bomb site didn't fail completely. It was far more accurate than anything before it, but it never lived up to the legend built around it. In the end, the Norden bomb site represents the eternal tension between technology and war. A brilliant machine built on optimism deployed into chaos, where physics, weather, and human limits always get a boat. I'm Dave. Subscribe for more amazing history.